Hello friends, it's Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are in our Mario unit working in Scratch. So if you've seen our previous video, you'll know we already have a Mario game that we started. If you haven't done that yet, you should go check out that game so that you can get your characters in place. We learned how to make Mario walk and jump. So we're gonna see inside and today we're gonna add a Goomba to it. We'll add a little bit of music to it. And we're just gonna change our stage a little bit so that our Mario can get through these portions without dying because right now it's a little far for Mario to jump. So let's take care of that first and we'll go into our backdrops here and we can create this guy. Let's make this gap a lot smaller for us so that Mario can jump on it. It will also be a platform for us to be able to have a Goomba on which I think will be really quite nice. So let's add these in. You can use your arrow keys to get them just right. And we'll add another one in here. Maybe this is just a small jump, or maybe we just need one jump. Uh, we'll do two jumps. Let's see, let's move that up just so slightly. There we go. All right, and maybe we'll move this over so that we can move this set of pieces over also. So we have sort of two important jumps, and Mario should be able to clear both of those jumps. So we're gonna wanna add a Goomba to our project. And the way we can do that is we're gonna upload a sprite. Now, if you're a patron of ours at patreon.com slash Rosie Research, you will have gotten all of the sprites that you need. And you can upload Goomba one here. And so our Goomba comes in and we can go over to costumes and that's where we're gonna upload our Goomba two. So we can come over here, we can upload costume Goomba two. And let's make our Goomba much smaller. That's like a monstrous Goomba. I don't think Mario can defeat that. So we'll make our Goomba much smaller. And let's see how big is our Mario. Let's make our Goomba even a little smaller than that. You can scale it by changing this size and that will scale our Goomba down. Now Mario walks on this bright green as he touches sort of that dark green. So we can make our Goomba do the same thing. And in the code for the Goomba, we want our Goomba to go back and forth. That's what Goombas have always done. They sort of just walk back and forth. And we're gonna make it so this Goomba doesn't go off the edge either. So we'll go into the code for our Goomba and we can say that, do some events. So when this is clicked, when we kill our Goomba, we're going to want to make it hide. So we're gonna first make sure that our Goomba is showing and we're gonna to want to make sure that our Goomba is at a specific spot. So we can tell our Goomba to go to where it is right now, which is 214 minus 126. And we can put those coordinates in so that every time this program starts, it will start our Goomba right there. Now, I can just make it glide back and forth forever. So that would be kind of an easy way to do this. So we can do forever and we could glide, oop, not to a random position. We're gonna glide to a very specific position. And let's see what position that is that we want. We probably want our Goomba to come all the way over to here. And so that's 87 in the X direction. I can just read it off right here and then minus 126 right there. And we can decide how long we want it to take to glide to those spots and then we'll glide two seconds, let's say back. So that'll go from to 214 and minus 126. And we can just see what that looks like. We've got our Goomba. If that feels too fast, we could spend a little extra time gliding, maybe 2.5. We can see that that really quickly slows it down. Maybe that still too, feels too fast. You can also go to three. All right, so our Goomba is moving and now we want to make our Goomba look like our Goomba's walking. So we can do another um, forever loop. So when it starts up, because our Goomba doesn't need too much in the way of brains. So forever, we will have our Goomba switch costumes. So we'll switch costume from Goomba one. We'll give it a little bit of a weight and maybe we wait a quarter of a second, so 0.25 seconds. And then we're gonna switch costumes to Goomba 2. 
And then you want to add another weight in there, otherwise it's going to switch back very, very quickly. So we'll wait another 0.25 seconds there. And so now we can see that it updates and our Goomba looks like our Goomba is walking, which is pretty fantastic. All right, so now I want to make it so that my Goomba, if my Goomba touches Mario, Mario dies, but if Mario jumps on my Goomba, the Goomba dies. So what we can do for that is we're gonna go over into Mario's code and we can sort of decide how we want to do it, but we want to make it so that if Mario touches the Goomba sort of this way, or is jumping up, then Mario dies. So that's kind of important. All right, so we are going to do another when we start our game. Oh, we're in the Goomba. Let's change over to Mario's code. There we go. I think the little, you can tell where you're at by this guy, but I think it may be just Got a little funny. All right, so we are going to, when we start our game, we're gonna have another forever loop. And we're gonna wait until it's touching the Goomba. So we, that's our wait until here. And we'll sense if we're touching the Goomba. So touching Goomba one. And now if if he's jumping, the Y velocity of my Mario won't be zero, and so that will tell me that I'm jumping on the Goomba. If it's zero, that means I've run into the Goomba and I should die. So we could say that if the Y velocity is equal to zero, if I'm not moving up or down, so I can choose my Y velocity, then I should die. So we can say broadcast game over. Let's broadcast a new message that says game over. Because we only have one life in this game right now. And when the game is over, I've actually got, if we look at our costumes for Mario, I don't have a, a Mario costume where he dies yet, but we can upload that one, which is this guy right here, our Mario 6 in the files that you would have gotten on our Patreon. And so when that happens, I'm going to want to switch my costume. So let's switch our costume to Mario 6, which we should probably call Mario Dies. So Mario Dies. And there we go, switch costume to Mario Dies. And we want Mario to sort of go up and down. That's sort of the traditional way that Mario dies. So what we can do is we can use a motion where we glide. Now we can glide, and we're gonna keep our X position as whatever position we're at. So whatever X position we're at is gonna be X. And then our Y position, we're gonna go from wherever we are, and we're gonna add something to it. That will make our little Mario in his death suit jump up. So maybe we go up by 150. We can plug that in there. And we can decide how long we want it to go. And then we're gonna glide back down. So we're gonna glide again. And we'll keep our X position again in that X position. And our Y position, we'll use an operator. And we'll do Y minus. So the position we are at at Y minus. And then if we only do 150, we're gonna be right back where we were. And normally, our Mario goes all the way down, so we're just gonna subtract a whole bunch. Just like that. All right, so if that happens and the Y velocity is zero, then we have it like this. In fact, we probably should have used an if else. So let's switch this into an if else loop. Because otherwise, if the Y velocity is greater than zero, in either direction, right? If it's greater than zero or less than zero, we stomped on our Goomba. So let's say that we'll broadcast, and we'll, instead of broadcasting game over, we'll broadcast Goomba kill. So we smashed our Goomba, and sometimes with things like this, we wanna add a little bit of a weight. Because we don't want, 
it to take a little bit too much time in the system and then think that our y velocity is zero and then kill us. All right, so we have that in place and now we can kind of see what happens. So we can jump over here and when I hit that Goomba, I died. And now we want to be able to also smush that Goomba. And right now, let's see. Oh, sometimes I can smush the Goomba and it doesn't kill me, and sometimes it hits me and it kills me. Now it's kind of hard because my, nothing happens to my Goomba when I, it gets smushed. It's probably easier if we actually smush our Goomba. So let's go over into our Goomba. Let's create a new costume and we'll duplicate one of these. So just duplicate, if you right click, you can duplicate this costume. You can highlight all of this Goomba and it will show up in this blue square and you can just make it look smushed like this. And we'll call this Goomba Smushed, like that. And now we want to know when do we show that Goomba Smush? And that is when we got jumped on. So what we're gonna do is when we receive. So let's see, when I receive, and instead of game over, it's a Goomba kill. And we are going to switch our costume to Goomba Smushed. And we'll wait just a little bit of time let's say 0.2 seconds, and then we're gonna hide our Goomba. And then we'll hide that Goomba, just like that. All right, and now we might find that we have some timing issues and then we might need to fix that, but let's see what it looks like here. So we can run and we gotta make sure we make that guy. And now we jump and he got smushed and he goes away, which is perfect. And now I sort of won my little level. All right, so I'm noticing that when I do this though, when my Mario dies, he wasn't putting in this death scene that I wanted. So what I did to fix that is over here, I set my jump to three. And then if the jump is three, I just switched the costume to Mario dies. For some reason, this was not doing it for me. So now we have this great little game. We can jump over here and if we want, we can jump on the Goomba and the Goomba will die and go away. So the other thing we wanted to add on this was some music. So we can go to our backdrop because our backdrop is what should have the sounds and we can delete what's already there and we can upload a couple of sounds that are inside of the file that you guys have as your download. So one of these is going to be just the Mario music. And then one of these is gonna be Mario dying. So now we need to write the code for when those sounds are playing. So in the code for the backdrop, we'll go over to our code and when we start our game, we're going to play a sound. So we can go up to sounds and we will play a sound. And we can play that until it's done because it's probably not gonna play all the way over. And then we had a thing about when we died. Oops, not this one, not when a key is pressed. When I receive game over. So when I receive the game over, we wanna stop the music that we were doing. So we're gonna stop all of the sounds that we had and we want to start a new sound which is gonna be our death sound, which I think is this one. Let's take a look over at our sounds real fast. Yeah, sub, we could call this Mario dies. Let's make it a little bit easier, oops. There we go. So now if we want, we can play this and you notice that it plays our sounds we can jump, and if we die, it's going to play the Mario die sound along with that part. All right, so the other time I want my game to be over is if Mario sort of falls off this edge. So let's program a thing about if Mario falls off this edge, he's also going to die. 
All right, I'm actually going to pause our music here just for the moment as we do this. So let's go back over into Mario. And now if he goes below a certain point, so let's say he goes sort of less than 154, that's really when I want Mario to die. So we can go over here where we were programming all of this stuff about x velocities and y velocities. And we can put another if statement and we can say if and we can look at the y position. So if our y position, and we can do an operator on that, if it's going to be less than a certain number. So we can decide what our threshold is. I think we just said minus 150. Then I want to broadcast that the game is also over. So we can broadcast game over. Oop. And here it keeps doing it. So, and that's because I'm still stuck over here. So I want to broadcast game over and I probably want to then just hide my character. So let's say it looks Let's hide my character and let's see if that will fix it for us. So we can drop him. Nope, it doesn't. So what we can do is then let's change after that point. We've already broadcast game over. So let's see, let's just go to a certain spot in Y. So we could change Y by, let's say 300. And that should fix that for us. Let's see, oh, ooh, if we hide, we're gonna need to show ourselves in the beginning. So let's find our looks, and then we will show ourselves. There we go. And now, oh, still a little funny. All right, so after we broadcast our game over, we can add a wait to that and we can wait maybe 10 seconds so that everything else that we're going to put between these two can hang out and it can play that music for us. Then we also want our Mario to do this cute little death dance that we have and so we can go over to where we had that programmed which is right here and we can copy all the stuff that's underneath the broadcast game over so you can just hit right click and duplicate and we can bring this all the way down into between our weight and our set jump. And that weight just sort of forces everything else to happen. So now we can oops, start our program and we can see how that works for us. All right, so after a quick refresh, we can see this guy, and then he dies. Now this will keep playing every 10 seconds. So instead, we really want to end all at this point. So the way that we can do that is over in control, we can click over here at stop all, and you could actually even put this after you do that, or after your wait, it doesn't really matter. And that way it won't keep doing it. And now we have a Mario that can run and jump He'll die if he falls in through these cracks. He'll also die if the Goomba touches him, but he can smush the Goomba. We also have some great music. Let's turn on our background music. Oops, that's in the code, and we'll just connect this so that we can start playing the music next time. And we have a great Mario game going on here. We will continue our progress in our next video. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial. See you soon.